Hey guys, Aaron and Dusty here with Emove Rest, and today we're bringing you our top seven foods for everyday optimal nutrition. And not just any foods, these are plant powered superfoods. Right. Now, if you go to the supermarket, you can find countless amounts of different processed and packaged labeled superfoods, some valid superfoods as well. But the ones we're gonna be sharing with you guys are simple whole foods, right. fruit, veggie sources that you can find at almost any grocery store, almost anywhere in the world. So they're yep. easy to get in daily. Yep, easy to find, easy to prepare, and tasty goodness. So if you guys are into this kind of superfood goodness, <laughs> give us a like and we hope you enjoy. Number one is gonna be dark leafy, leafy greens. greens. <laughs> Why do we say dark leafy greens first? Alkalinity. So your dark leafies are gonna alkalize the body. I used to have heartburn like every day, I was acidic. My green smoothie and the salads in the afternoon actually alkalize my body, make me feel super good. Right, dark leafies are packed full of minerals like calcium and iron and magnesium. And on top of that, they also have protein, which many people don't realize. They do have a lot of protein. Um, so what's your favorite dark leafy? Probably spinach or the, the green leaf lettuce. I would also have to agree, spinach is definitely up there, but I also love this lacinato kale. Yep. This one's a little bit eaten up, but we did get this locally. This is from our farmer's market. And for some of you out there, kale is kind of hard to chew on, but we like to throw this into our green smoothie. We do have our green smoothie recipe on the YouTube channel, so check that out. We'll put the little link in the corner. Spinach and kale are probably going to be like your most nutrient dense and most widely available but you can find almost all of these anywhere. Right, and if you are interested, we actually grew our own lacinato or dino kale in our garden this year. And we planted like what, four or five plants and it's been more than enough for the two of us. So for sure, we can't even keep up with it and we eat huge salads. Right, our second food for optimal nutrition, berries. <laughs> so why berries? Well, number one, they taste delicious. But number two, and more importantly for our body and our health, is that they're super antioxidant rich. Antioxidants help to neutralize what are called free radicals in the body, and free radicals are brought on by things like environmental pollutants, toxins from our personal care products, cleaning products, cigarette smoke, alcohol, all those things that are, yeah. you know, just bad for us in general, create free radicals in the body. Antioxidants will attack free radicals and neutralize them to help our bodies and resist things like cancer and diseases. Right, and you know, a lot of these things are things that you simply can't avoid. It sounds scary, but the truth is our body does a pretty good job of fighting these things, you know, like exhaust fumes from your vehicle that you really can't help. You know, these berries have those antioxidants and you're gonna be in good shape. Yeah, so how do we like to eat our berries? Raspberry, blueberry, strawberry, blackberries, I'll just put them in like a big Tupperware and bring it with me so that between breakfast and lunch, I'm not starving and it makes the perfect snack. Yeah, I actually use a lot of frozen berries. So we buy a ton of frozen berries, throw them in the freezer, make smoothies with those. Sometime if I'm on the go, I'll throw those in the Tupperware. They'll kind of thaw out by the time it's, it's ready for lunch and those work for me too. Yeah, and one question we get a lot is frozen berries, are they just as good as fresh? And oftentimes they're actually better because yeah. they're frozen directly when they're picked. Right. So those uh, antioxidants and vitamins, like the vitamin C you can find in them, is locked in like yeah. right away. So don't be afraid to use frozen. Right. So moving on to our number three top favorite food that we incorporate every day for optimal health, Cruciferous veggies. Uh, cruciferous veggies are high in vitamin E, vitamin C, and folic acid, and they're actually good for the brain. It's not a coincidence that they kind of look like a brain, <laughs> but yeah, they actually fight dementia, boost memory, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so you've got, like we said, our homegrown kale falls under this family, broccoli, cauliflower, and purple cabbage, what little of it we have left. And we really love to use these in our salads, this um, more meaty, like harder kale in our uh, smoothies. 
We love broccoli just steamed alongside some grains and beans and potatoes. Yep. Purple cabbage is high in prebiotics, which are good for your probiotic digestion in your body. They feed those healthy gut bacteria. Yep. And cauliflower. Cauliflower, we've got an awesome recipe. Right, yeah, we do some really awesome Indian cauliflower that you guys can find on the channel. Another one of my favorites is bok choy. We don't have it here in front of us, but bok choy is also a really good cruciferous veggie. Oh, and Brussels sprouts. <laughs> right. The list goes on and on. We don't have them all here, but yeah. <laughs> Do your research and you can find a number of really healthy cruciferous veggies that you want to get in your diet. So our fourth food for everyday optimal nutrition are nuts and seeds. So let's take a look at seeds first. We've got chia, hemp, and flax. There are tons more options, but these are our top three picks, and of those top three, flax is definitely paramount. Nuts and seeds are high in omega-3 fatty acids, which are the good healthy fats that are good for our brain, good for our hair, skin, and nails, so who doesn't love them? But flax seeds, we like to take just a tablespoon each in the mornings and throw them into our green smoothies and blend it up, and then you're getting almost all of your daily requirements. I particularly like hemp seeds, so we'll make a smoothie bowl and I'll put hemp seeds on top. You can put them on salads. They're really tasty too. Which is actually why we put them in these spice jars. It right. makes it really easy to just sprinkle on and make like a really pretty smoothie bowl. Right. Along the lines of omega-3, I also eat a lot of walnuts. So you're gonna get a lot of your omega-3s in walnuts. I definitely eat more nuts than Aaron <laughs> does, so I don't worry as much. If you're worried about your, your fat intake, you might want to look at how many nuts you're eating. Um, what else? Brazil nuts? Ooh, Brazil nuts are right. kind of interesting. There's a neat fact. You can take one a day, just eat one Brazil nut a day for your all of your requirement of selenium. Right. <laughs> On a plant-based diet, it can be super hard to get this little known nutrient, but yeah. one Brazil nut a day does the trick. It's all you need. <laughs> and also, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Marina. She is eco goddess on YouTube. She's all about zero waste plant-based living. So we're taking a tip from her. This is something we've been doing for a long time. Yep. Um, zero waste, no plastic. So you buy your nuts and seeds in the bulk bin section at your grocery store. Put them in mason jars or like we have these glass spice jars. Yep. Zero waste. Yep. <laughs> Plus you can label them. You label them and oh. they last forever. <laughs> so. <laughs> so our fifth food for everyday optimal nutrition are bananas, potatoes, sweet potatoes, carbs. <laughs> yeah, so you might be questioning, why did you lump bananas in with potatoes? But like Dusty <laughs> said, carbohydrates, healthy carbohydrates, yep. whole food, plant-based sources. Yep. They're not refined, they're not full of white sugar and flour and all that kind of yucky stuff that nope. can gunk up our systems. They're full of fiber, which is one of the most important things that a lot of us are deficient in in this country and in this world in general. Right. So we are no meat athletes right. and we stay fueled on bananas throughout the day. They're a great raw food source of carbohydrate energy and in the evenings we like to cook up potatoes and sweet potatoes. Yep, so I'll eat anywhere from five to sometimes 10 bananas a day. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but between taking them on the go, putting them in smoothies, it is really easy for me to knock, knock down 10 bananas. Like Aaron said, in the evenings, we'll boil up our potatoes. So Dr. Greger said, chop them <laughs> and boil your potatoes. It's the best way to cook them. We, we chop them up, throw them in the pot almost nightly boil them down and they're good to go for the next couple days. Just grab them and go or put them on some beans and grains, whatever. Yeah, and with bananas, we buy our bananas in bulk by the case. A case of bananas is about 40 pounds, usually about 100 bananas. It yep. sounds nuts, but yep. we'll let them get really ripe, really speckly, like I always say. Yep. Leopard <laughs> spots, you're good to go. This is when the starches have fully converted into sugars. When they get to this point, you can freeze them. But one quick reminder is that you want to peel them and then freeze them. <laughs> My very first time I froze a banana, I yep. threw it in like this and it was not easy to peel. <laughs> <laughs> so peel them, freeze them, and they're good to go for smoothies and banana ice cream, which if you've never tried is a great dairy-free alternative. We've yep. got a recipe for that here on the channel. Yep. And yeah, bananas, potatoes. We are fueled by carbohydrates. <laughs> 
Carb up. Moving on to our number six food that we eat daily for optimal nutrition. It's a two for one special again. <laughs> it's ginger and turmeric. Right. Both of these roots, though they be little, they are strong and powerful. Right. They are highly anti-inflammatory and again have anti-cancer benefits. So straight up, when I've got a sore back from working in the yard or whatever, we'll pop a ginger and turmeric tea and it'll take that pain away, that inflammation away, just like your over-the-counter Tylenols, Advils, etc. This stuff is no joke. Yeah, so on a daily basis, again going back to our green smoothie, our famous green smoothie that we drink every single day, another thing that we cram into there is a slice of turmeric root and a pretty healthy chunk of ginger root. Just, you can't even really taste it with all of the added sweet fruits and the greens in there. It kind of masks the harshness that these can kind of take on, um, but they really do the trick. They do, no joke. Ginger and turmeric, get it in. <laughs> One other thing, you can also find these in our Indian food recipe. We've got our lentil and, what is it? Lentil dal and roasted curry cauliflower. You guys don't wanna miss that one, it's awesome. It's on the channel. Our seventh and final food for everyday optimal nutrition are beans and grains. <laughs> so let's talk about grains first. Some of our favorites are quinoa and brown rice, yep. and we also really love lentils. We've got green lentils and red split lentils here. Yep. But quinoa is, of utmost importance because it is a complete protein. Right. Yeah, so we literally eat grains and beans almost every single day because yes, they're high in protein, but they're also really good for our blood sugar levels, they're low glycemic, and they're really amazing for our heart health. Right. They're also high in things like iron, magnesium, those things that you used to get from meat, but now that you're plant-based, you're gonna get them from your beans and your grains. Yes, so how do we use these? We like to make one bowls. We talk a lot about these, maybe you've heard of a Buddha bowl before, yep. but essentially we like to do maybe like a steamed green, a grain, a bean, and maybe an extra protein like a tofu or something like that, yep. and then we'll put some hummus on top or whipped up avocado or guacamole and it tastes incredible. Yep. So chickpeas are what we actually use to make hummus. If you right. didn't see, we recently had our hummus recipe that we'll put a link to and yep. up in the corner you can check that out. Yep, check that video out, make your own. Again, these things are staples. I eat a ton of lentils, I eat quinoa or brown rice, sometimes both. Mm -hmm. Every day, you guys are gonna feel great and you're gonna get all that carb, that protein, everything you need from your beans and grains. So this is what it looks like when we've got our spread of our top seven plant-powered foods that we eat on a daily basis for optimal nutrition. Just to recap for you guys, our number one... Were the dark, leafy greens. Our favorites, spinach and kale. Get those babies in every day. <laughs> Number two was berries, and of the berry family, blueberries are gonna give you your most bang for your buck in the antioxidant category. Yep. Number three were the cruciferous veggies. I would probably say cauliflower is my favorite, but the most nutritious is gonna be the broccoli. Get that stuff in again <laughs> every day. Number four is your nuts and your seeds. And of that category, our favorites would be the flax seed and walnuts. Yep. They're both gonna be your highest source of those omega-3 fatty acids. Number five were those carbs, bananas and potatoes. Get your bananas in during the day, eat your taters at night. <laughs> and number six, we've got those anti-inflammatory powerhouses, ginger and turmeric. If you can't stand the taste of them, if it's too strong, get them in your smoothie. And finally, number seven, the beans and the grains. <laughs> we would say eat your quinoa and black beans every day. So if it sounds a little bit overwhelming, like what are you guys talking about? How do you eat these every single day? Maybe you're not used to eating this bulk amount of plant-powered whole foods. If it seems crazy to you, just take one of the seven and eat one different one every single day yep. for a while, and before you know it, you'll be able to eat all seven every single day. Right. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. 
Leave us some love below. Leave a comment. Let us know which of the seven is your favorite or maybe if you have another whole food that you would say to incorporate daily. And yeah. if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel up in the corner and make sure you've got that bell clicked. That'll make sure notifications are turned on so you'll know when we have more delicious and nutritious videos here. Yep. And also don't forget to follow <laughs> us on all forms of social media at DB Stanzik, at Aaron Stanzik, and eat, move, and rest your best. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. It's a two bagger. <laughs> Dang it. It's a two bagger. Yeah, Nobody knows what that means. You should. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.